Hello dear students, welcome again to this learning session on Edata TV and today we are going to learn a form 4 topic, uh, language use and we are going to specifically deal with the question tags. So before we continue, let us get to understand what a question tag is. So what is a question tag? Well, a question tag can be defined as a construction in which an interrogative fragment is added into a declarative or imperative clause. And the purpose of question tags is an inquiry for confirmation. So a question tag can simply be understood as a fragment in which an interrogative fragment is added into a declarative or imperative clause. And the purpose is inquiry for confirmation and as we continue you will notice that an affirmative statement always takes a negative question tag and a negative statement always takes a positive question tag so let us look on examples of these question tags from the affirmative statements whereby we add question tags into affirmative statements they are doing their work so if we have a sentence like they are doing their work adding a question tag on this statement we will begin by the auxiliary verb al so the question tag will be and they they are doing their work and they another sentence is like this one enoch is going to school enoch is going to school so adding a question tag on this one we will begin by the auxiliary is on the question tag and it will be is he these sentences were affirmatives and the question tag came to be a negative so you will notice that a question tag is always the negative of the opposite of the sentence now let us look on a few examples of negative statements adding a question tag on negative statements as we saw earlier is that if a statement is negative then the question tag will have to be positive for example she is not going to school now this sentence is negative adding a question tag on this when we will again begin the question tag with is so she is not going to school the question tag will be is she so actually the question tag comes to confirm the statement that is negative another negative sentence is like this one john will not play tomorrow so you can say that sentence is a negative statement now adding a question tag here will be will he john will not play tomorrow the question tag will be will he and the last statement here let's use like the very first one that we used when we were using affirmative statements enoch will go to school enoch goes to school that was the first one now making this a negative it will be enoch does not go to school so if we have a statement like this one that is negative enoch does not go to school adding a question tag on this one will be does he the question tag here will be does he now you can really see that the purpose of these question tags is merely to confirm with the statements now dear students until now i am so sure that you have understood how to use these question tags now i have something to notify you when you use question tags don't say something like this they are doing their work they are doing their work don't add a question tag like are they not doing their work or don't say are they doing or don't say doing they on the contrary you should say and they again if you have a sentence like she is going to school she is going to school do not add a question tag and say she is going no that is not a question tag or don't say going she no on the contrary the correct question tag here should be is she i also have one more thing to address to you that if you have a question that you expect a yes answer the question tag will always be negative if you have a question like you like trouble the question tag will be don't you you are a student you are a student the question tag will be aren't you now again the last thing that i have to notify you as a bonus is that we can always change commands into requests by the addition of affirmity for example if you have a command like shut up when you hear people talking then you tell them shut up that's a command you're commanding them to shut up now if we have this command shut up you can easily change it into a request by adding will you so you see it becomes a request shut up question tag will you and now it's a request another command is like let us move now 
Say you are the captain or lieutenant in the army, then you are telling your, your troop members, let us move now. That, now that's a command. Again, you can easily change this into a request by adding the affirmative. Shall we? Now you see, when you add the affirmative, shall we? It, it dilutes the command into a request. Let us move. Let us move now, command. Shall we? Request. So until there, dear students, today we were learning a Form 4 uh, topic on language use and we were specifically dealing with the question tags. And we saw how, how we can apply question tags on affirmative sentences and how we can apply question tags on negative sentences, question tags on questions. And again, the last part we saw how we can actually change a command sentence into a request by simply adding the affirmative to the question. Okay, until next time, dear students, keep on visiting Eteta Online TV and Engineer Baravuga TV for classes like these ones. Again, next week, all the coming weeks, we will have more subjects. So please stay tuned, keep logging, let's learn together. Until next time, ciao, ciao.